I'll tell you, I've seen some real clangers and some real stories in my driving experiences, literally everywhere. But this one really takes some beating. Everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me again. Hope you're well. And as always, thank you for the support. Make sure you get that notification bell hit so you know exactly what's going on with the channel when something gets released. Of course, make sure you're subscribed, hit the like button, leave comments. That whole combination of stuff helps us move forward, helps the channel grow. Very much appreciated. Well, this is a funny fuel story from a petrol forecourt. Uh, and it's brought to you from Port Talbot. There's a guy called Steve uh, who basically went in to do his shopping and decided I'm, I'm going to go and fill up with some fuel afterwards. Usually puts 40 quid's worth of juice in the vehicle and then leaves. Well, he goes up, and speaking from personal experience, sometimes you go on autopilot, you put the thing in the thing and pull the thing and... De -de 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 oh, hey, I better stop now. Well, when he looked up, the petrol pump actually charged him, or it read on the meter, and you can see a picture of this in the link in the description below, 2000 670 quid they're supposed to cut out a certain amount at this place i think it's 120 quid and this thing's gone up to 2670 he had a small heart attack well it was actually paid by card which is one of the you know bugbears with these things and thankfully uh it didn't take two grand out of his bank account. It took six hundred and seventy-four pounds and ninety-eight pence. Still a lot more than the forty quid he wanted it to. Thankfully, and I say very thankfully, there were actually staff manning the shop. He went in and they solved it within twenty minutes. No problems, or all done and dusted. But could you imagine a situation? Imagine a world where they actually want it, where all of these petrol pumps you have to pay by card and there's no staff around, all of a sudden you find you get two grand robbed off of you, or in this case 600 quid, and it goes very, very wrong. I wonder how easy it would be to get hold of somebody then, and this is just a prime example of how the whole thing could go very, very wrong. In this case, it got sorted out, but a bit of a frightening sign, isn't it? Although I can picture the look on the guy's face from here. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I appreciate the support as always. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow with more stuff. Toodaloo.